Are you wondering how you can avoid troublesome burr particles during thread production? In today's episode of Chips and Tricks, I will explain how that works. Perhaps you're wondering why your thread should be burr-free at all. In addition to the risk of injury to humans, burr particles can also cause other damage. Let's take a look at the automotive industry. It is a good example of industries where the demand for burr-free threads is increasing. Why is that? If the material gets into the engine's cooling or oil circuit or into the piston chamber, this can cause serious damage. In the worst case scenario, burr particles can also cause damage to the area between mating surfaces or impair the function of the thread. I will now explain how to avoid annoying burr particles with a thread milling cutter with a deburring cutting edge. This tool has an additional cutting edge with neck relief. This cutting edge mills off the first thread. This results in a cylindrical step on the thread inlet. To sum it up, burr particles are removed. That's the important thing. If you use a thread milling cutter with a deburring cutting edge, you must ensure that the cutting length is individually adjusted to the thread depth you want to produce. If your thread milling cutter is too long, so to speak, the additional cutting edge will not be used at all or not effectively. As a result, the burr particles remain where they are. My chip tip for burr-free threads is, when using a thread milling cutter with a deburring cutting edge, make sure the cutting length is correct so that the additional cutting edge is used as effectively as possible.